Okay, everyone, welcome back for another lesson. Uh, today we're going to be talking about expressing desire, expressing desire. And um, we have three ways that you can express desire. Okay, now this is outside of the, the idea of, well, biddo, he wants. You know, biddo, an auxiliary verb, uh, we have another lesson on that. You can find it uh, by typing in he wants um, in the search on our channel. But um, we are going to be talking about how to say basically uh, the idea of desire hoping. Okay, so not I want, but hoping more, more like in that area. So there's three ways to say it, three ways to say it. I've listed them, of course, in, um, in order frequency. So you can see right here, the most frequently used way is to say inshallah. Of course, uh, being that Arabs are uh, more religious than many other um, peoples around the world, um, they are going to pepper a lot of things with, um, with uh, religious uh, vocabulary. And particularly, they use the name of Allah a lot. That's supposed to be a good thing uh, in Islam. Um, and so the first one is Insha'Allah. Or they can, you can say Inshallah or Inshallah. Yeah. So basically, it's all together. They they bring in, they put in, and then they bring Sha Allah together. So Inshallah literally means if. There's a condition, conditional word here. If, and then God. Uh, this is God. Okay. The verb now is before the noun, which is normal. Um, Sha'a is the Fusha word meaning he willed. Okay, so literally it means if he willed the God. Okay, so if God wills or God willing, we say in English more often. Inshallah, berja. Now here's a, here's a little example sentence for you. Inshallah, berja bukra, uba kemmel is shawad. Uba kemmel is shawad. So, Let's just look at this. Inshallah berja. Notice something here. The ba. Okay. Normally, when you have a helping verb or an auxiliary verb like biddu or lazim, um, you're going to have to have the ba is going to be taken out and it's going to be with a normal ya yeah for who we or whatever, alif for ana, uh, ta for she or for you. Uh, in the front there, okay? But we're going here with, inshallah, you can do either one. Either one's okay. So you can go like the Fusha route and no, have no bad there. Or you can put the bad. Not a problem. So, um, here, inshallah, berja. Ana berja. If you were going to say, huwe, of course, it's berja. Um, if it's, hiye, pterja. Okay, so you get the idea. Inshallah, berja. Inshallah, I come. It's, but with inshallah, it means I um, will. No, kind of like, inshallah, I hope to. Or if God wills, I will come. Okay, bukra, tomorrow. Bukra is amir for tomorrow. Oh, bekemmen. Now, in fusha, they say wa. Okay, but in Amiya it's U. That's it. U is and. Wa and. Conjunction. Bakemmin. All right, this is from the word kamen, the adjective kamen, which is a descriptor meaning complete or uh, without fault, like complete, fully perfect, basically. Um, so, I will make it perfect or will complete it. Bakemmin is shoan. The Kemmel is Shoah, the object here is Shoah, which means the work. Okay? So, inshallah, berja bukra, u bekemmel is Shoah. That's the first one there. Uh, that's, that's one that uh, is used a lot. However, um, sometimes, many times actually, uh, Arabs will use the word inshallah or inshallah. It is as a response to a question you might have. So, you might, have a, you might ask, uh, will you come tomorrow and do the work? And then they will say, Inshallah. Okay, well that means you have a 50% chance of them coming. So <laughs> you need to know 
that this is used a lot as a cop-out or a reason not to do something or basically just to appease you uh, so that you will not uh, um, not get angry or whatever or they don't want to embarrass you by saying no so let's say inshallah so oh will you come uh, you know will you come over for a visit this weekend oh inshallah inshallah you know that basically is a nice way of saying no okay for the most part they mean no so you have to press it more if it's a question response thing okay yaret or yareto now all of these by the way except for this one here is used in Fusha. So in Fusha, it's not Yarit, it's Leita. All right? Leita. All right? Or Leitahu. Okay? So you can add this here. Leitahu would be another way, the same thing. Uh, Yareto or Yarit. Leita or Leitahu in Fusha. Okay? So, yareit, actually here, that literally means he wishes, but we're going to say for I to make it exactly right, yareit ni, okay? Yareit ni, okay? Yareit or yareit ni, it's the same. They mean the same thing. It's just with one, you have a... Um, an attached pronoun, and with the other, you do not have an attached pronoun. But the attached pronoun is actually like you would say for a verb, like he gave me, uh, not like a possessive, he, 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 for example, his house, Beto. Um, so you would say Beti, you would not say Betni. Bet means you put with a verb. So this is like as if it was a verb, okay? Yaretni, I wish, or Yaret. So, Yaret, Ahud, Visa, وأسافر على أمريكا. يا ريت أخذ فيزا وأسافر على أمريكا. Okay, so يا ريت here is like a helping verb because now you do not have the bat. You do not have the bat. So notice here, no bat. There is only one condition where you will put a bat on the front of this word. Okay, after the يا ريت on front of the verb. And but in normal usage. If you're just as saying, I wish, you know, I wish I could get, okay, I could get, أخذ, immediately means he takes, but it's like, also can mean he obtained or got, all right? So that's what it means a lot of times, I got, all right? يريد أخذ فيزا, visa, like the English word, visa, all right, for your passport, visa, وأسافر, وأسافر, على أمريكا على أمريكا So, أسافر means to, uh, I travel So, I wish I could get a visa and travel to America Now, Yaret is more it's not as much like Inshallah or Batmanna in the sense of it's more like pie in the sky you know, I hope uh, kind of like a faint hope it, it, you're not, you haven't taken any steps. Inshallah, usually there's like some work that's already been done or you intend to do it or something like that. Okay, many times that's the case. But here, yaret is more, oh, I wish. Oh, if it, if it could happen, that would be great. Kind of like that, all right? So here's the other sentence that's gonna have a condition to it. Let's look at the condition, not a condition, but it's the one condition where you do not have, you don't put the, uh, you don't put the regular fusha harakat for the verb. I mean the uh, fusha, um, uh, yeah, the yeah or the ta or the alif for I. Here, we're going to keep the bat, we're going to put the bat on there. Why is the bat on there? Well, because we are expressing now frequency. Okay, so if there is frequency like كل يوم, كل شهر, أسبوعياً, uh, or something like that, then we would say بت, yeah, uh, بت زور, or be in the verb. So, يا ريت بتزورونا كل يوم. يا ريت بتزورونا كل يوم. Okay, so يا ريت بتزورونا means you all visit us. The ne being indicating us, okay, object. 
Uh, then you have the kul every yom, every day, every day, kul yom. Inshallah, oh, yaret, no, in years, yaret, yaret b'zuruna kul yom. Now, this is said a lot, but it's just a nice thing to say. It doesn't really, I mean, obviously, nobody wants you to come visit them every day. Now, that would be a very um, insane person to say that. But it's common to say something like this, um, uh, or to, like, ta'al kul yom, you know, come every day and see me. All right? So, yaret, there's yaret, or yaretni, I wish. And then we have here, this one, which is Batmanna. Batmanna. I hope, mostly it just is a general meaning for I hope or I wish. Now, the reason why this isn't used as much, okay, is because it comes from, it's more of a fusha feeling word. It's more fusha, more formal. And Arabs typically will, uh, they will ignore, not ignore, but they will try to stay away from using fusha words in everyday language, um, like this, for example. Batmanna. So, uh, Batmanna means I hope, just a general hope, okay? It can also mean I wish in a few circumstances, like a certain phrase, and we'll see that down here. But let's look at the first one. Um, Batmanna, he, okay? Batmanna yuzbut ma'u. Batmanna yuzbut ma'u. Now, Notice here, we don't have a ba. So, bitmenna is like a helping verb here. It is a helping verb. And it's just, because of that, it, can, it dictates to the verb behind it that it cannot take the ba. Okay? It has to be like lazim or biddo and the verb. Bitmenna yuzbut ma'u. Yuzbut me is from the word dabt. All right? And you might hear it, people say, but if they want to say more like fusha bar or bazapt, which means exactly, okay? So yuzbut, the verb means it works out or it comes out okay, basically. Bitmenna yuzbut ma'u. He hopes it will come out okay or it'll work out okay, all right? Uh, we don't know what they're talking about, a circumstance or something uh, he tried to fix or a circumstance or whatever. The second one here, uh, All right, now this sounds difficult, but let's just break this down. Batmanna is the verb, I hope or I wish. I hope what? Nal, and notice here, we're going to have, of course, this is going to be sukun. Batnal, this lamb is like ila. Or li, meaning for. Okay, for. I hope for, for, for who? Come, for you all. Come, I hope for you all in Najah. The literally uh, success. Okay, the success. All right, so literally this means I hope for you, for you all, the success. In English, we'd say, I wish you, I wish you all success. That's basically what it means. So hence the meaning I wish here. But usually it's going to mean I hope. Now, I hope, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Yani, uh, so we will see you next time. And remember these three, study them and use them. And we hope you improve in your Arabic and we hope you're enjoying our lessons. Thanks a lot and take care. Bye-bye.